Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about how to write the recursive rule of an arithmetic and geometric sequence. So first thing we want to always do is write the first term. That's usually pretty straightforward. We can see what the first term is pretty easily. We also need to write the common difference or the common ratio, depending on whether it's an arithmetic or geometric sequence. A quick review here, quick recap. An arithmetic sequence is when we add or subtract the same number every single time to get to the next term. And then geometric is when we multiply or divide the same number. And keep in mind though that the common difference if we're subtracting would be a negative number. And the common ratio if we're dividing would be a fraction, right? Because we're actually just multiplying by the common ratio and adding the common difference, right? So we do have to keep those things in mind in those cases. Uh, so let's do it. Let's talk about how we would write these recursive rules for the following sequences. Well, there's three things we must do. We first must just, uh, determine what, the, what type of sequence it even is, right? Are we using the arithmetic formula or the geometric formula? If we're using the arithmetic formula, we need to find the common difference. And if we're using the geometric formula, we need to find the common ratio. We also need to identify the first term, though that's pretty quick. Okay, so let's, let's do it. So for this first one, the first term, A1, is equal to 10, right? We can see that's the first term here. And then I need to determine whether this is an arithmetic or geometric sequence. So do I add the same number each time to get to the next term, or do I multiply the same number each time to get to the next term? And the answer is I add the same number each time, right? Notice how to get to the next term, we add five every time. That means that five is the common difference and that this is an arithmetic sequence. So for the rest of my recursive formula, the nth term is equal to the previous term plus the common difference, plus 5. Okay, let's try B. For B, same sort of thing. I'm just going to start by writing the, um, the first term, which is 50. And then I'm going to determine, is this a, an arithmetic sequence or a geometric sequence? Well, looks like this goes down negative 10, or sorry, this goes down by 10, so we're adding negative 10 every time. Therefore, it's an arithmetic sequence as opposed to a geometric sequence. So therefore, we have A of n is equal to the previous term, and then minus 10, right, or plus negative 10. Okay, what about this third one here? For this third one, we have our first term is 1.5. And then what is what type of sequence is this? Well, it looks like this is a geometric sequence because it appears that to get to the next term, we always multiply by 2. Like that. We multiply by 2 each time. And so therefore, in order to get the next term, we take the previous term, we multiply by 2. All right, and how about this last example here? Well, the first term is negative 5, so we can write that. And then is this an arithmetic or a geometric sequence? Well, if it's one of the two, it's got to be geometric because um, it goes up and down. Whenever we have something swapping between positive and negative, it can never be an arithmetic sequence. As with arithmetic sequences, we add or subtract the same number every time. So we're either continuously increasing or decreasing as the, we get further in the index. Uh, so in this case here, it is indeed a geometric sequence. We multiply by negative 3 every time to get to the next term. So therefore, negative 3... is our common difference, and that would be our formula.